Chain link keepers are a decentralized way to automate functions in a smart contract. Now by default, smart contracts are technically asleep. So they require some individual or some script to come along and execute a function in your contract in order to automate it. Now, of course, that requires the maintenance of these scripts, the infrastructure involved, the alerting, the monitoring, um, and Keepers comes in to decentralize that piece on your behalf so you can worry about writing great code and have Keepers handle the rest. Now, the way Keepers technically works is this network of Keepers will constantly check your contract to see if some work needs to get done. And as soon as that's the case, we'll execute uh, those transactions for you on your behalf. We've seen some really interesting use cases for keepers up to this point, such as yield harvesting, uh, auto compounding. Uh, we've seen it used for uh, starting and stopping no loss lotteries, for resolving prediction markets. The possibilities are pretty much endless. Now, if you're interested in creating a keepers compatible contract, you'll need to include two main functions, the first being check upkeep. And check upkeep is uh, used to decide whether some work should happen or some, some function should be executed within uh, the second perform upkeep function. Now check upkeep function will return a Boolean value, true or false, based on the logic written within it. So this logic may be as simple as has a certain amount of time passed, or it could check the state of the chain to see if the balance of a certain contract or address is above or below some threshold that you set. You can include some really complex logic uh, that ultimately decides uh, whether this automation should occur. Now, the idea here is to do as much work as possible in check upkeep because you can use uh, this perform data to pass information between check upkeep and perform upkeep um, so that you're only using uh, as little as gas as possible within that perform upkeep function. Now, if we look at the high level process flow for keepers, uh, you'll notice this slide is separated into two parts. You've got the work that's happening on chain and the work that's happening off chain. So we'll start here with the keepers nodes. So these nodes are constantly checking your contract to see if some work needs to get done. So they're checking that check upkeep function. And as soon as it's the case that work should happen, keepers are gonna send a message to the keepers registry, which is a contract that lives on chain. And that keepers registry will relay a message to your contract, specifically calling the perform upkeep function, which will result in a transaction on chain. Now, if we take a look at the way Alchemix is using keepers today, um, of course, Alchemix has registered a contract with the Keepers Network, and that contract is simply having the Keepers Network check to see if 24 hours has passed. And as soon as that's the case, uh, the Keepers Network are triggering a function that's going to harvest yield. It's going to repay uh, debt in the vaults and the transmuter, and then it will, of course, wait another 24 hours to trigger that same function again. Now, if we take a look at this same process flow in the context of, of Alchemix, you have our keepers nodes, and the keepers nodes are constantly running that check upkeep function in, uh, uh, in their contract. And this check upkeep function, again, is just checking to see if 24 hours has passed. As soon as that's the case, they're going to send that message to the keepers registry, which lives on chain. The keepers registry will relay the message to, uh, to, the, to the contract that lives on chain and triggering that perform upkeep function. And that perform upkeep function is responsible again for harvesting yield, for repaying debt. And then of course it resets that timer so that the keepers are now waiting another 24 hours in order to trigger this process again. So today keepers is live on Ethereum, Binance Smart Chain and Polygon. If you're interested in learning more, you can always head to chain.link slash keepers to read a bit more up on, on documentation. And then you can head to keepers.chain.link if you'd like to register your own contract on testnet or mainnet.